Now, I'm just gonna make a big deal out of this because it's kind of, it feels like a technicality, but it's a, do you understand what's going on? Do you see how these complex numbers work, okay? A lot of you said, okay, modulus, that's fine. I can do modulus, pretty much everyone, like I said, got to, okay? But then people went to here. They said, argz equals, and then they said, oh cool, I know the way, I remember this from auxiliary angle, right? I just want an angle, so I'll go tan inverse of one on root three. Right? Well, actually it's minus one on minus root three, okay? But that's kind of the problem, right? Because you can see here, tan inverse treats minus one on minus root three, it treats it exactly the same as positive one on positive root three, okay? So where's this guy? This guy's in the first quadrant. That's where you get your pi on six from, okay? But this is not in the first quadrant. It's in the third quadrant, third quadrant which is very easy to see, and this is what I mean by understanding, right? Like the second you see this, your brain should do uh, minus, sorry, minus root three, that, right? And so you should have known, like, this is ridiculous, right? How can you write this down and not know that something has gone wrong, okay? So this is what I mean by, like, maths is not just about, it's a series of algorithms. You, you crunch through them and then you get an answer at the end, right? Do you know why the algorithm does what it does, okay? In exactly the same way, where our answer in quadrant two or in quadrant four, again, Tandemus doesn't care, right? It'll treat negative on positive as the same as positive on negative, okay? So that's why Tandemus, be careful with it. It's a great tool, but you need to learn to use it properly, which is why we get to the whole topic called inverse trigonometric functions, okay? And it's a dangerous tool you have to use carefully, as was embodied by this, okay? So please, don't ever, 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 anymore, use tan inverse to find the argument of a complex number. It's completely insufficient, okay? Some of you did try to correct, right, by saying, oh, I got pi on six, but I know, because maybe I sketched out a rough diagram, that that's actually the base angle. So then you kind of redeemed yourself and said, okay, I actually know where it's supposed to be. But you had this problem of having said from the first place, right, argz is pi on six, but it's not, right? Don't find the wrong answer and then fix it up. Just find the right answer in the first place. Do you see what I mean? Okay. It's not just a technicality, I don't like tan inverse. Okay. It's a tan inverse compromises your answer. Okay. Let's move on a bit further. Uh, once you got that, again, it was pretty straightforward. There's our, um, there's our mod arc form right there. Um, oh, just another minor thing. Too many people, too many people writing that, okay? Minus 5.6, that's the whole argument, okay? So please don't be lazy on that. Lots of people trip up themselves by not being able to read their own writing. Just don't do it, okay? Like, it's, it doesn't take that much imagination to imagine this turning in a hurry into this, which turns into this. Like, come on, you're in a hurry, right? Don't, don't do that to yourself, just put some brackets. All right, now, Demarra's Theorem, here we go. You just have to use it, you should state, it's by Demarra's Theorem, it comes from somewhere, don't just write that that's the case. Because actually, that's a very profound result, that you can just multiply the mods and add the args and, and do it to whatever multiple, okay? Um, you guys were lucky, I, Here's a marking sort of tip in the future. Had you gotten this as your first answer, okay, you would have gone ahead and you would have gotten something actually not that far off, okay? Um, you're off by you're off by this rotation, okay? So you end up getting I think minus sixteen root three plus sixteen i or something comparable to that, okay? So you're not completely wrong and technically you have a carried forward mark. However, okay, if you went ahead and you did pi on six. When you do Demarra's theorem, do you see you actually get something easier than what I had to deal with, than what the people who did the question right had to deal with, okay? So you, were guys, you guys were candidates for actually having not two marks for you got the right answer from the wrong solution, um, the wrong earlier part, but I could have actually Dr. Mark there if I wanted to because you simplified the question. Again, I chose not to because I didn't want you to feel like I lost marks on technicalities. Every mark you lost was a real mark, not like some oh, half, so it really should have been a half mark, but the, the marker was like angry or something like that. Every mark was really worth it, and every mark that was lost was really worth it. So you got lucky if you carried this on from part one, and you got your two, 